Elia, congratulations uh, on the win. Obviously, you came off a loss. Uh, it's been a long time since we've seen you in the, in the octagon since last October. Uh, what was it like spending so much time on the sideline and then coming here back finally and fighting for the UFC and getting that knockout victory? Yeah, you know, it's like uh, everything else in life. Uh, sometimes you need uh, some longer time training and developing and analyzing stuff and uh, getting better. And uh, I took the time that I felt that I needed. You're obviously a big, muscular, strong man. Do you think you should be getting more knockouts in the UFC? Well, I have three finishes, so I mean, four, uh, five fights, three finishes, uh, that says a lot. And to, to go in there and to beat someone with such a prominent kickboxing background, do you think that really does show that you can hang with people on the feet as well? You know, I, I, I train with the, the best stand-up guys in the world, K1 fighters, and I train with Alexander Gustafsson, and I'm comfortable, you know, I fight these guys that are a lot taller, and a lot of people see that as, uh, as uh, something harder, but it's all about adapting your style of fighting. How, how much do you train with uh, Alex help you to deal with the range and strength at that time? Well, me and Alex, we train on, on a daily basis. We do all kinds of uh, grappling, wrestling, uh, stand-up. So we do all the training and uh, it's so good because we com combine uh, the different styles. You fought in the UK before, but what was it like out there with that arena? Uh, I love the arena and what can I say, I, I love the UK crowd, you know, I fought in London first, I fought in Ireland, here in Scotland and the crowd always uh, gives me uh, good energy and an uh, amazing crowd, you know, and they, they, they want to see a show and I do my best to, to del deliver that to them. How was the plan to, to stand up with him or, or was the game plan to maybe try to listen to and wrestle him later on? Uh, like I said before, I, I feel comfortable in all the aspects of the game and uh, I knew that I could take the fight standing up too because uh, I know that I have uh, more speed. Speaking of the UK and Ireland, obviously the next event in, the, in Europe will be in Dublin, October 24th. You've obviously fought there before. Do you want to now maybe start a campaign to try and get on that card? Uh, let's see, you know, <laughs> I just came out of this fight and uh, uh, let's see what happened, but it's ne like the most amazing crowd so here in the UK, so it's never wrong fighting. When do you think you would be ready to fight again? Um, let's see, what, what, what opponent and when. Do you have any injuries or before the fight or during the fight, do you feel anything? Well, actually I had a neck injury like three weeks before the fight. Uh, and had problems sparring uh, the last uh, the last two weeks of uh, I didn't not do the last two weeks of training before the fight I didn't do any sparring so it was hard you know adapting before the fight and stuff but uh, this is uh, in, in all fight camps there's always some kind of injury or some kind of complications you, either you get sick or something you just gotta go with it and when the fight day comes you see what happens was it a serious neck injury? Uh, pretty serious, yeah. Was I, it, were you I, close to maybe pulling out of this fight? Yeah, I was close, oh. close, and uh, but I did. Uh, I couldn't wrestle and I couldn't spar, so I did a lot of conditioning and uh, did the best of the training. So you're going to need to take some time out to, to fully uh, recover from that. Yeah. Okay. Did it make it even sweeter then knowing that you know, all the adversity you face coming in with that injury, you come in and just you know, cure such a top knockout? Uh, yeah, you know, but. It's like this, you know, I wrestled many years before and sometimes when you go in with injury, you have like no, no, nothing to think of. You just go in and do what you can. And there's no, there's no ultimate way to come in in a fight. You always have some kind of problems. Do you have an, oppon uh, an opponent you want to face next? Someone you've seen that you want to yeah, get in the cage together? You know, I, I said that I'm ready to fight anybody in the top 10. You know, my fights, I finished them, all of them, uh, the, the three fights that I won, so I, I think I can put on a good show and, and everybody has said back sometimes, in this level of fighting, it happens, so, but I feel good and I feel ready.